Here we're at the house where we currently live and we moved here about six years ago, more than six years ago now. And shortly after we moved here, we planted all of these black currant and red currant bushes. And so with spring just around the corner, it's time to dig them up and bring them with us to the farmhouse. Over the years, these currant bushes have been rather harshly pruned by all the deer that live around us. So we sort of left them to wild abandon here on the hillside. But now that we're moving, we definitely want to take them with us and give them a um, better exposition, a better place, and they'll be more protected from the deer where we're going to live. So there's a lot of plants that we want to take with us, including this cultivated blackberry bush, or probably rather her offspring because her roots are probably really wide at this stage. So it felt really good to bring the bushes to their new home here at the farmhouse. And when we arrived, we decided the best thing to do would be to just put them to bed temporarily. So here Nicola is just covering over the root systems with earth, just while we have a think about where the best place to put them will be. Eventually we want to create a fruit orchard on our land. So these bushes, along with all the other ones that we have to transplant still, will be an important part of that project. This is my pride and joy. This is our rosemary bush and I definitely want to take this with us. But I think it'll be quite a challenge to unearth it because it's really well established. The roots are probably quite large. I'll probably take that peony with us as well, the one just beside. And I'm definitely going to miss this tree when we move away. In preparation for the spring coming and designing the garden, we got to work marking out the corner boundaries of our land. And our land is adjacent to another farmer's land, but uh, it was handy to mark it out and get an idea of just how big our land actually is. So it's just under 7,000 square meters of land. So I wanted to mention this phone application that we found called Alea and it's used in France to find the boundaries of your property. So it localizes you using satellite and it shows you just how close you are to the boundaries. Nicolas got to work back in the kitchen taking down the verrière and this was quite a challenge. We tried really hard not to break the glass, but in the end there really was no choice. So here it is with all the glass taken out. When I think that originally I wanted to keep this installation and just move it to another wall, I really feel very naive when I saw how difficult it was to take this down and it would have been absolutely impossible to put it back up again. The challenge here for Nicola was to cut just the bar and to try not to cut into the shiplap ceiling. But this, this frame was really in there, it was really attached and it was actually installed, driven into the wall. So it must have been put in place at the time of construction. I even suggested to him to put all his weight on it. So here he's just protecting his head from any glass shards that might fall on him and you can see he's He's holding himself up with it, but it's just not moving. It was really in there. My hat is really off to Nicolas that he managed to cut through the bar without damaging the ceiling. You can see he's just really edging up slowly, but he, he pulled it off.
So next on the list was to remove the old range and in order to do this we had to disconnect the range from the central heating pipes so heating them was key and then afterwards it was a lot easier for Nicola to loosen them. We were delighted that he didn't have to cut through these pipes and that it was possible to just unscrew them and how great it felt to just see the room become so much larger it seems when the very air was taken down and the range was removed. I do have a little bit more work to do then so in this corner I need to remove the loose plaster and sand the walls again. But um, we're getting closer to being ready for the new floor being delivered. With this time of transition from winter to spring, it feels a little like a transition time for us too, from saying goodbye to our old home and saying hello to our new one. It's a bittersweet moment, but I know there'll be plenty of happy moments to come. Thank you so much for watching and following along with our project and our progress, and I look forward to seeing you soon.